Hello everyone. In two previous sessions of trigonometry, we have learned about the trigonometric ratios, value table, and complementary angles. In both the previous sessions, we have used value table for trigonometric ratios. But you may be thinking about ways to remember this value table, and you must be wondering about how it has been derived. So now in this session we will learn a simple trick to remember this value table for commonly used angles like 0 degrees, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees. And in the next session we will also attempt to learn derivation of this value table. So let me keep this table blank because I am going to show you the way to fill these blank spaces. So let's understand the trick step by step. First, write down numbers from zero to four. That is, zero, one, two, three, four. In second step, we divide each of these numbers by four. In step three, we take square root. So zero upon four is zero, and square root of zero is zero. Square root of one upon four is Square root of one upon square root of four, and that is equal to one upon two. And we know that we can simplify two upon four as one upon two, and square root of one upon two is one upon root two. Square root of three upon four is square root of three upon square root of four, and we will keep square root of three as it is, and square root of four is two. Four upon four is one. So square root of one is equal to one, and we will realize that values which we have got are the values for sine zero, thirty, forty-five, sixty, and ninety degrees angle. Once we know the values of sine, to get the values for cos, we use the concept of complementary angles, which says that. The values of sine and cos are same for any two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. So here as 0 and 90 are complementary angles, the value of sine 0 is same as cos 90 and that is equal to 0. And similarly the value of sine 90 and cos 0 is same and that is equal to 1. Again since 30 and 60 are complementary angles, Sine thirty and cos sixty will have same value, and that is equal to one upon two. And therefore, sine sixty and cos thirty is also same. That is equal to root three upon two. And similarly, the value of sine forty-five is same as the value of cos forty-five. Now we know that sine and cosec are inverse of each other, and inverse means we can write cosec as one upon sine. And therefore, cosec zero is equal to one upon sine zero. Cosec thirty is equal to one upon sine thirty. Cosec forty-five is equal to one upon sine forty-five, and cosec sixty is equal to one upon sine sixty. And cosec ninety is equal to one upon sine ninety. And therefore, cosec zero is equal to one upon zero because sine zero is zero. And the value one upon zero is not yet defined because one upon zero means from zero we get one, and in mathematics zero means nothing, and we can never get something from nothing. So one upon zero is itself a meaningless expression, and therefore we say that one upon zero is not defined. In fact, any number upon zero is not defined. So now we have cosec zero not defined. Cosec thirty is two. Cosec forty five is root two. Cosec sixty is equal to two upon root three, and cosec ninety is equal to one. So we have the values of cosec, and we know that cosec and sec are complementary. That is, cosec and sec are always same for any two angles whose sum is ninety degrees. And therefore, the value of cosec zero is same as sec ninety. Cosec thirty and sec sixty are same. Cosec forty five and sec forty five are same. And similarly, the value of cosec sixty and sec thirty is same. 
cosec 90 and sec 0 are same. So, so far we have found out the values for sine, cos, cosec and sec. Now, to know the values for tan, just look at these trigonometric ratios. We see that when we take the ratio of sine and cos, we actually get the ratio for tan. And therefore, tan is equal to sine upon cos, that is, tan 0 is equal to sine 0 upon cos 0, tan 30 is equal to sine 30 upon cos 30 and so on. And therefore we get the values for tan 0 as 0, tan 30 as 1 upon root 3, tan 45 as 1, tan 60 is root 3 and tan 90 is not defined. So again by using the concept of complementary angles, we get the values for cot because again tan and cot are same for any two angles which add up to 90 degrees. So please remember to complete this table, we'll have to only know the way to get the sine values for all the angles. So this is how we prepare trigonometric ratio value table. Now let's do a small exercise to recap what we have learned in this session and use it in actual practice. So suppose you have given a question, a boy is at a distance of 40 meters from a tree, makes an angle of 60 degrees with the top of the tree. What is the height of the tree? So let's first draw a rough sketch of this question. So in this question you have given that from a tree, a boy is standing at a distance of 40 meters and with the top of the tree, angle made is 60 degrees. So by this diagram we can see that tree is the opposite side of 60 degrees angle and the distance from tree on the ground is the adjacent side. So we have given distance from tree that is the adjacent side of 40 meters and angle 60 degrees. And we have to find out height of tree that is the opposite side of 60 degrees angle. So I need a formula having angle opposite side and adjacent side and we know that which is the 10 ratio and therefore we can write 1060 is equal to opposite side that is height of tree upon adjacent side that is 40 meters so here I know adjacent side and I need to know the height of tree that is the opposite side but I don't remember the value for 1060 so here what you will do Will you write entire table in your worksheet or as per your requirement? So here, since I know the trick to get the value for sine and with the help of which I can get the values for cos by using concept of complementary angles. Now, once I get the values for sine and cos, I know that 10 is the ratio of sine and cos and because here I need the value for 1060, so I will write down only for 1060 that is equal to sine 60 upon cos 60 and which is equal to root 3. So did you notice here as per my requirement, I was interested in knowing only the value for 1060 and that I have found out by using the relation 10 is equal to sine upon cos. Similarly, suppose there is a different situation where we need to know the value for say cosec 45 so again first i will use the trick to get values for sine and after getting the values of sine i know that cosec is the inverse of sine that is cosec is equal to 1 upon sine and because i want only cosec 45 i will write down for cosec 45 is equal to 1 upon sine 45 and which is equal to root 2 so all I wanted to say here is, there is no need to write entire table always. You can get your desired value by just knowing the trick of getting the values for sign. So I hope you understood this session and as we have discussed, in the next session we will learn derivation of this value table. So that's all for now, let's have a recap. 